Hello everyone, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to do form validation in Flutter using edX. As usual, I'll be starting with an empty template with just a container set as home. And let's add the edX package in the pubspec YAML file. Make sure to call the Flutter packages kit to install the package. Now we'll create a couple of files. First one is the login screen for the UI and another one is the login controller for the state management for getx and third one is the custom form field i'll paste in some code to save some time here it is just a custom text field with some parameters like hint text format is validator and a on change function now let's create the controller so class login controller extends getx controller and the first thing we are we are going to create is a form key which is a global key of type form state now we will need a couple of functions the first one is the email since we are using a login form and second one is the password for validating the password and third one is when we tap the submit button on the login form so this function is going to validate the form okay let's write the validate email function so that's going to accept a string email and if the validation is successful return null otherwise return a message an error message so get your tools dot is email if it is not valid return email is not valid so similarly for the password we're going to check if the password is null or blank so check if it is equal to null then return password is not valid and in the on login function we're going to check if the form is valid so do validate and if it is successful return show a snack bar with a success title and the login successful message and the snack bar position to bottom if it is not successful show error let's say login validation failed and let's set the color to colors dot white which is the color of the text and the background color to red so similarly for the success set the background color to green okay great now let's create the ui so create a stateless widget called login screen and the build method is going to return a scaffold with the up bar and let's change the home to login screen make sure to import it now set the elevation to zero and the body is going to be a form widget form widget will help us with the form validation and child is going to be a list view with a padding of 30 and the children the first one is a text saying email and the text field with in text enter email when the validator let's leave it empty for now and similarly for the password a text and the text form field password so let's adjust the padding for the text field top 80 top 8 and bottom 8 or maybe 10 all right let's add a sized box with a height of 24 and we also need a button for submitting the form so an elevated button let's leave the on press to empty and the text is submit all right now let's get the login controller instance from getx so getx sorry get dot put and login controller 
now we have the controller so in this way we can access the methods inside the login controller the main thing to do here is in the main method return wrap the whole app with the get material app so that it listens to all the changes now let's use the controller we're gonna replace the replace the validator with controller dot validate email and let's change the variable to maybe email so similarly for the password controller dot validate password and change the variable to password and on top of the button let's call the function controller dot on login and that's going to validate the form so let's see if that's working but there is some error oh we forgot to initialize the the form key in the ui so go to the form in the ui and set the key to controller dot form key great now it's okay now let's see let's try entering the email there's something wrong with the password uh, the validate password function will fix will fix it so let's test the email email is working um, i think i forgot to check the empty condition or oh, let's let's do is let's check the length of the password so for that let's use the is length greater than or equal to maybe six uh, it requires two parameters right okay so that the first one should be the, the string password all right so that's working so that should be not all right great the password validation is also working okay six characters okay now it's success great so now the login is successful and the form is validated so you can use any number of fields and you can use any number of any validation you want so i want to keep it simple as simple as possible okay great so this is the main part the whole app should be inside the get material app and if you want you can remove all the hard codings from the ui if you follow the, the previous tutorial that i uploaded so yeah that's it so if you learn something from this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share and also the source code for this tutorial will be available in the description if there is any issues please let me know in the comments thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye